Hey y'all, what's happening? Uh, welcome to some more advanced lyricism. Today we're going to talk about um, basically how the body has to be intact uh, throughout all music. Um, there's been a lot of um, getting hurt. And there's also been a lot of people being intact and not being intact. Things that I've been following have been intact, but a lot of things are not intact. And um, everything basically has to revolve around cameras and looking at the bottoms of feet. Um, there's a basic, and it's basically that. Um, what I'm here to show you is that, like again, I said, this is a heel. This is the bottom of your heel with the ridges right here on the bottom of your foot that feels really, really sexy to look at and feel. And you can look at it like if it's someone else's for a long time, including yours, you know, when you have it postured to pose. That's what all this is going to be about, if you do it with song. And um, anyway, here above here we have, um, you can see these two different camera angles. Now, on this one, Legs are both facing two directions. A good um, metaphor would probably be Beavis and Butthead because they seem to always be facing each other, facing this way, but it seems that they are stupid and funny, and it's kind of hard to actually be in all the angles with a character like that because they only walk like that, you know, and see. Well, anyway, um, the point is, is that. <clears throat> Um, here are eyes that follow these heels, and this is like taking one cap, like one picture frame of it, of your um, dance. If you're in public and someone had to take a picture of you, you to look at it, and without your knowledge or with it, but literally like if it was candid, correct you, and to look at you, and to um, observe you. And basically to draw you, you know, or to, you know, kind of put you into a uh, form from this step to this step. And um, anyway, so this is someone who's standing this way, and it's kind of aiming to the right. And then over here, someone is step standing like this, you know. And um, is, is basically a um, universal kind of uh, standing point, you know. It's, it's where are you or what are you doing, sort of. Uh. But anyway, um, all of these have to be intact, no matter which way the feet are pointed. The thing that must be understood is that the heel is also the eyes that are looking here. That are watching it as it steps. And um, when this heel is faced out like this, you know, it also has to be able to safely turn, you know, uh, is the avoidance of arthritis. You know, because while it may be pleasurable, you know, it also um, will lock up areas and you don't need it. But the point here is that further down here, uh, I put the words fix return. It's basically just the fact that um, there is an abrasion here, kind of like if you popped your toe or popped your finger or something pops in the building, you know, like the room will go crackle one time, and it'll pop. Or, um, You get hurt, someone skins their knees, someone runs and gets hurt. Things like that are what we're looking at here in the turning and the moving of um, a mentally moved object. Now, um, it's not theoretically just uh, sexual, but it might as well be used with a pinning. You know, where when you're viewing someone musically and when you're listening to them, which we all have to use percussion do that. We have to use touch to do that. 
you have to use this and letting go to touch and you have to measure you know the bottom of that finger touching to understand that and um and then here you know we have where the feet have turned and that they are actually um, this one has a bandage on it and then it has what looks like a wound and it's just basically that from being observed me um, I've, I've had you know people who would watch me over and over and over and going like this you know, someone's foot is also programmed and aligned in with that part of the journey. And um, because of that, you know, if someone turns like this, you have to be aware of what that is. And you have to come up with anchors of things to look at and ways to do these gestures and movements. When you look this way, it needs to have a still frame captured. When you look this way, it needs to have a still frame captured. You have to program it each time that you step and move. Um, here, I've realized this damage. And this is more prominent with people who go to gyms and work out a lot and have probably protected sex with someone really important or unprotected probably if they go further that way and um well actually protected you know because it has to do with just working out you know and building up your muscles and how that can protect itself um here we have uh, spatch is what i called it over here and this is the notice of these two broken areas. Now, why did I do that? Um, it's because there was a turn here and someone said that it was unattractive. That's when trap music came out. And I said that it was unattractive to do the triplets with the, you know, you know. And um, here's the other part of these camera angles. Here's another one that's kind of like um, differently. And it's just that that could actually turn into breasts. And the trap music with the Trappist um, church um, seems to be a bad reference for hip-hop because it's actually putting religion into something that doesn't need religion. It's an art form. You know, and it's already too saturated with those buildings and those things. And how are we going to progress as a society if we're still looking at it? You know, it's another reason for it to be noticed, but... The thing is, is that those small little mathematical equivalents to something as a metaphor could easily be something that would sway you, you know, into interpretation, you know, into something you don't want to interpret as something that you cannot correct yourself. That's when damage is required, but not damage is required when our body has to be fully used, when our body could be floating and you could... If you can imagine 500 people turning your body and turning it and turning your, holding your hands, holding your feet, holding your back, holding your mouth, anything, yeah, to keep its form and contour, and putting it in your finger, in your nose, putting it in your ears, feeling your eyes and opening them and closing them at certain intervals and angles on beat. You know, when you say percussion and then they would know this and then it would stop for a minute and kind of like in space it would kind of like you know <clears throat> and it have to stop it you know in order to keep its form in it seems like come it seems like but anyway that is the reality of making better more lyrical music and no one is making any more lyrical music and it sounds really bad you know, and it, the, that's the point there, is that those camera angles with trap music, you know, that doesn't have, you know, the continuing source of every other artist constantly developing it, you know, and only has one, you know, failure, 
you know, obviously. Um, or just the tie-ups here. It's when someone gets hurt, so it's like if I was walking and someone says, you know, nigga, you better do this and pal, I'll shoot you, you know. And it'll come out somewhere and it looks awkward. And it's like because of that, like if someone you ha if you imagine yourself literally getting shot, then you know it's not lyrical and it's not good enough when you just hurt yourself. Hear it. And it's not actual damage, it would have to be pleasurable. Then you have to find someone else you wouldn't be having sex with at the time as another sex just because your body would be disabled at the time. And um, you have to be you have to have a way to be completely 100 percent together. It can't just be, you know, spacey and floating and getting big and there's nothing to do anything with it. It has to be held, it has to be kept in a spot. You know, <clears throat> and that's, you know, with morphing and shaping and keeping our forms together. That's why I have my symbol and, you know, I keep everything together with it. And here with this patch is something I kind of invented. But right here, I trained myself using my symbol and like, making love with it and everything, using the pressure points and everything to basically it has a little flick mechanism. And it's kind of like when your eyeball twitches, you know, a good reference is probably the movie, uh, I mean, the, uh, the Rap God video with Eminem where he twitches his eye one time. But actually, it's an actual involuntary, real, actual twitch. All you have to do is just look at how they have that little triangle on your knee, and then it, your leg goes up. Instead of using that and just waiting and, like, backing off to some guy with his hand, you know, using the tool to touch your knee, and then it goes up so he can suck your foot. Instead of using that useless area, which you no know, one wants a doctor to suck your foot for $800 so you can buy a pill, you know, instead of that, you know, you could just uh, basically understand that this little reflex right here that can go off is actually a part of your um, heel down here. And you can have all those little flickers pop up. But the point is, is that you don't want it to be you know, a spatch that is indicating that uh, it hurts or itches there. It is kind of like getting your heel hit. But, um, I just put, I don't know what this means, but it says Nugent Ow, you know, on the uh, heel there. And you can see how the heel does resemble the uh, nose. And that that's just one of the points here is the camera point and how that you know, if I had my arm here and it was like bent at this angle and all weird and not my arm or broken, that is an indicator. That's the thing that can also indicate that. Okay, and then here we have um, basically um, some frames of feet, which is one foot. And it's just from here to here to here to here. Here have it at grab and that's when it has to grab something and then and then it lets go here at five it would be like dirt or something and then at six reposition clean and then over here you don't want it to be rich stubbed or if it has um, an itchy gob or if a hand has an itchy gob, like a big booger or a big finger, and is like grabbing something and it also had a stub toe at the time before it got to the gob. That's an indicator too of, that's kind of like looking at blood flow. I mean, somewhere up here it got kind of crumped up. You don't want it to be like that. You want it to be 100% good flow. Anyway, that's just part of um, something that has to happen. There's no one that can skip motion of a direction of something to do when you go to school and someone gets something wrong someone else will have to think of the right answer when you got something wrong you know when you got something like not sexy you know and wasn't fully positioned and you skipped an area someone has to come back behind you and actually do it so it's good to know that you are doing that yourself it's your body as to mirror back to you that's really important because to make orgasmic good music, 
have to have a way to keep everything in and keep it together, you know. And that's the point of that is learning how um, to have the body constantly moving. And it has to be like walking. A good uh, instance would be Gucci Mane, but also realizing that there has to be someone else thinking of something else. I always refer to Eminem instead of Gucci Mane to come up with the other rhyme on the other side of it. And it um, there's really no reason to question an idol that um, it's something you've invested all of your time and thoughts in. There's no reason to just say another preference is not good enough if it actually was good enough. Better than that. You know, good enough. So here we have um, basically iceberg visor. This is basically just looking using your nails and your toes and using idealism like um, the white part here is uh, it's going to be what you have to say. It's what I use um, when something is sturdy and it has these directions coming out of it. You can see how it's pushing out in a direction, like using the pressure that I was speaking about, you know, when you're touching something. And, um, and then here we have the little arrows of the direction of where things come out. Um, a good thing to look at this as is a windshield. Or you can hold an orange and look at the sun rising and see how it just kind of comes up over the horizon and all that light's coming at you with that color. And uh, it really helps you look over a horizon, but it also helps you, you know, kind of uh, look at what you're looking at. Um, and basically using that, you understand that, uh, I just put the word post decision is kind of like this part. It's like after it. It's done, you know, because you can chew it. It would hurt if you chewed the uh, red part. That's where all that trap music came from. And um, then we have uh, damages, decision, and other carbohydrate or, fit or fill. It's just here, you know, you'd have like lunch before you'd have like ice cream for dessert at some point. And that, that'd be like looking at the horizon. But um, it's just the damage part of everything, like I said, um, is kind of like making a decision um, or, or just kind of making a uh, rougher tone or something. You can look at something that is, it's kind of like having this part of your fingernail and then looking at this, you know, with just a little bit of pressure there pressure I guess you could say um, if too plain looking the needs damage to continue existing um, here I have an example of a foot that was drawn and um, it's really silly looking and it looks like really itchy fluffy kind of like you know high buttery you know blah, 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 blah. it feels really good to just sit there and get lost in that and lose focus. To me, that's a form of damage. And when things get too plain and too um, ununderstandable, or you get lost in one spot, and you have sort of a favoritism, and then you can't see the rest of the things, um, is a good notice of damage uh, when you get kind of lost in a pleasurable area that isn't pleasurable. You know, it's like if someone was petting you but was also like scratching you and hurting you at the same time. It wouldn't feel good at such a point that it would concentrate and would not feel good anymore. And then here, another reference for you today is um, just a ghost playing with a quarter and a little catch loop. And this has to do with it as well as surveying yourself as uh, a stinky fart is basically what I've seen a ghost be so far. It's obvious because of the cultures and, you know, when people die in sex. It seems to be related. And, uh, you know, just seeing that ghost, you know, just flip the coin. And, I mean, just, I don't think that a ghost is actually anything else. It definitely isn't a person sitting it out. It's probably just a part. And, you know, at that Probably a very bad smelling one, probably just something similar. Probably didn't have any sense. Just fart. You know, fart
Yeah, it's like taking a quarter or a nickel or something and just seeing it go like this. You know, it's like, ooh, you know, it's got that little loop. You know, it's kind of like a, ooh, ooh. You know, it's like looking at Casper's ghosts and it has this little, you know, little mechanism how it goes like that, you know. And just that that's menacing some fat man walking around with a quarter and his thumb is so ugly. Its finger is so ugly that there's no way that it would be actually attractive. And it, it actually would be very counterintuitive to be that unattractive and fat, damaged, and could not be angled correctly, you know, like obesity. And, you know, I mean, literally unattractive obesity, like something that is not correct, you know. <clears throat> you know, some of those SSBW models that. It looks way too bad, and it looks messed up. It's like, you know, and here it basically, um, just looking at that at the same time, getting pleasure of it, and probably like just that. Um, you also realize at the same time when Casper would be a film that someone also wet their bed, and um, because it's a, it's a, it's a kid's show, and it would have to happen, they have to see why that would be bad instead of good. You know, for some to pee themselves like a ghost, because um, it has a lot to do with correcting yourself. And then when you say, well, I got damaged, but I turned into a ghost, you know, then you don't want to be a fart. This is just a fart. You don't want to be a ghost is the point. You know, because it's very useless to be that ghost, you know. And um, anyway... Um, it's offbeat and unattractive. Some are thinking that their ghosts with superpowers can only pay themselves to obtain, to obtain, obtain, obtain pleasure or satisfaction, not come. And here we have, you know, this basic thing here where someone paid themselves and it felt good, yet, you know, it did not feel good. You know? And um, then down here we have. He soaked feet are disgusting as well as any equivalent. And these are two different foot positions as well. Uh, someone turning like this and they're peeing themselves will have a bad odor, but if a girl actually wet herself using her vagina, then that would actually be something that takes some time to progress to do and is actually really attractive. This over here, pee with the same angle would actually not be attractive and would actually stink really bad instead of smell good. That's an indication. Um, and then here, you know, being yourself here, you know, kind of just remind yourself of the, uh, you know, the uh, angles I was talking about. And um, it's off beat to have yourself pleasurably. And it's on beat to come pleasurably. So um, it's just because we can see through other, you want to be able to see through other actions, of course, but you want to be able to get to these and understand, you know, um, that those are metaphors. And here we have, you know, physic equivalents as well, because you want to be an ideal you. You don't want to just be one little stuck form, you know, that's getting annihilated today. Today, okay, so... Girl or guy will have to switch forms to avoid being self if it's a guy and guy or girl and girl, etc. When referred to in song, measuring comfort levels and ideal other forms of what happened is mandatory. And it's just when someone says, you know, I'm going to fuck you, you're going to get fucked, you are going to get fucked. They are also going to get fucked too. You know, ideal everything is going to get fucked or get done and get put in a position and with all of the speaking about it not really the word fuck I think that's another thing we gotta go over is not using the uh, words about cursing here we have someone who smelt I mean they uh, well, I put a little rhyme in here something smelt and something peed and then I have something spilt and had received wear now that is how it should be run for sure. It's like, bead, bed, head received wear, 
something smelt, something spilt. You know, you can see how that resemblance is. But anyway, it's um, in their bed. It says, if I don't clean, how can it be good? You know, and I peed myself, and that's me or someone else peeing in the bed, you know, as me. Because, you know, seeing what's there, you know, you get to see that point of view, and you can use it. I mean, why have a moment of your life that you're not sharing? And you have to share it at some point, because if it's skipped, well, I mean, someone is going to come back to it, you know. So and then here we have a spilt drink and someone's mouth's wide open. And this is the same physic of this peeing bed, just with it a little bit differently. And it's just that it could be different things. You know, it could also be someone coming really hard. And um, it could be a girl's pussy coming really hard. The water be wet me is what I put. Of the substance or the measurement, all other similes. You know, so you want to have all the similes with things, and you got to have something in between it for each contraction, I guess you could say, like of the damage or the uh, re-angling, which is what I was talking about. The body has to be able to do that. you got to be able to be floating and expanding out in space, but there's got to be able to push you back into the um, points there. All forms must be intact and fast accessible, so there must be traces of avoidant damage to keep form in place. We have a cut or abrasion resembling bravery here. You could also say it could be callous on the hand. We also have someone else doesn't get abrasion. There is the hand. Um, this is usually what people speak about in every song, of course. And as a result, is not the same bravery as one with the, their abrasions damage. And it's just that the bravery and the damage is not the same bravery as one with abrasion is damage. But it distinguishes two different hands from each other. And um, it would become plain here, you know, if something's too plain, if it was your hand that did not go through that, so you have to remember what you went through is the point. And that's why we have those spatches when it goes, man, you know, sexy, sexy little bitch, you know, and it's like, or like crunch or something like that. We said to myself, and I'm like, oh, fuck me hard. <laughs> I'm saying, or I'm cute, teach, you know, I'll say some shit like that, things like that, some fish like that. Okay, so um, that's about it for that. Um, some basic things to go over and, you know, it's just how, you know, you can break your legs, you know, in a camera view, uh, or you can realize how that works. It's really revolutionary, you know, you're looking away from somebody and can't look them in the eyes, another indication of you being that camera. Uh, when you're in a tight place and you're around a bunch of white people, you're around a bunch of black people, you're around a bunch of whatever you're trying to still be seen here. Whatever it is, you know, scary place, interrogation, whatever. You can't look someone in the eye at all, you know, and you're looking at the body parts of yourself. That's how you have to do that. Like, you're in a public place and you don't want to look at anyone else. That's what that's doing is using the other parts of the body as the camera. That's what you want to do with listening. When you're listening, your eyes can also be shut. When you're listening. And that's the point. Is that you want to have it where. You know. You can look away and also have your eyes shut. And it doesn't look like you're looking at something. You, that's when you're hearing with these ears. That aim at. You know what you're listening with. And aims the directions of where things are coming from. And going to. You know. So. Um, that's the point of having ears. So, uh, yeah, and um, the other parts there was just basically what you have to do listening. If you don't use your eyes, you still have to have sex as the girl. You still have to do everything else. And you, know, you have to realize that you are really part of this world. And uh, definitely, you know, really cool.